<laughs> Matt, Matt, do oh, something. What do you want me to do? <laughs> do something, Matt. You've do got something, Matt. Have you got it? I will now take over. Ah! Oh my god! Keep it away! Keep it away! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck me, cut! Flicking around. Kind of slow roast it, glaze it in a bit of honey, right? Most delicious thing you'll ever eat, baby. <laughs> the couple still. Why don't you get your microphone <laughs> before you lose control? Sorry. Hey, Matt, are we live? Yeah, man. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Stop that. They're not watching. Sorry. They don't watch anything that you do. They stopped doing that when you quit Blockbuster, didn't they? Did you quit or did they shut down? I quit before they shut down. How did, did you do it? Did you? Was it an emotional day? Yeah, a little bit. Talk us through it. You went in. Well, and no, because I was working full time anyway. And I was- <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. And I was only doing one shift a week to help them because they were they were low on staff. Yeah. And then were you manager there? Oh, like a supervisor. Similar, tell me, tell similar me to sim- what you're doing now, but for concrete, you're doing no that for videos. You were was, being that for movie. Very similar. No, no, it was way more fun. I James it was quite similar. James was there too. James Tell me an of- interaction with James at Blockbuster. <laughs> um, Let's oh. save that for when James comes yeah. on. We'll get James on shortly. What about, okay, tell me a situation at Blockbuster. All right, let's say I'm, a, I'm trying to rent a movie. I come into Blockbuster. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey, I rented this last week and the DVD snapped in half. Get me a new one now. That one's broken. We would never have given it to you. No, snapped. you got to talk like that's real. Oh. Is that how you spoke at your work? Yeah. Unprofessional <laughs> hog. Do late fees. Pretend you got, pretend you got late fees rolling. Plus I have late I fees. I can't even remember how we do it. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Like, you've got 20, I don't know, 24, 95 well, on late fees. What do you fees? mean you don't know? Don't you have it on your computer in yeah, front of you? Yeah, I do. I've yeah, exactly well, what is it? How much exactly is it? It's 24 I'll 95. give you $3.90. It's all I have. What are you renting? What am I renting? No, um, no, what are you renting? Because I need that will well, help with my conversation. I don't know. I just got here, cunt, and you're in my face about old fees? No, 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 no. I wouldn't be in your face about old fees. You would have went and grabbed something because you're so dumb. You don't realize you have late don't fees. Tell, I just walked through just the door. Back. I, I just walked care. through the door and you stood in front of oh, me. Oh, man, Blockbuster was a hand. different, a different Beast. world. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a customer now. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, um, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm just interested in watching a Star Wars film. Which one do you recommend? Oh, Return no. of the Jedi. Why did you get him started? <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> why would you recommend Return of the Jedi? Oh, it's just the best. It's the best ending. It's the best build up. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Episode yeah, number 36 of the Muddy and Mugger Fully Actual Podcast. We're in a house. I don't know if you can hear a dull roar in the background. It's because it's pissing rain here. And uh, it's going to be raining for fucking f- for the next 10 years because of El Nino or some dog shit cunt. Fuck you, Cloud man. seating. Cloud, <coughs> yeah, cloud seating, sorry. Goodbye. So that, that's what that noise is in the background. Uh, we got a jam-packed episode. Paulie and Blake, again, can't come on this episode. We had them booked in. And then um, fucking Paulie has to go to WA today so he couldn't come. So we're getting him on next week. Third time's the charm, right? Well, got, James is going to come on for a bit. We've got a fucking prank call. We've got a lying segment. We're going to try again with Lockie. So stay tuned. We've got the perfect lie for him. That f- do fucking cunt. Do we? Yeah. We have an organized prank call. Prank call, little come to us. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And what else have we got? We don't. Uh, we don't have Bachelor Brown. We're sorry. Yes. She. It was. She's lives in the UK, and we couldn't get onto her. But we got to talk to you guys about the fucking live show, because in one week from today, next podcast that comes out. The wait. 
This podcast right Holy now. Shit. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, this podcast be, right now. Stop what you're doing right now because you, the podcast listener slash website members, are the only ones to have access to buying the tickets first. We have the venue booked in. It's the 11th of November, which is a Friday night. It's $500 per ticket. We haven't even discussed the price. <laughs> Just kidding. Just we kidding. haven't even discussed the price. I think we, we said $15. It's going to be like $20, isn't it? Let's say 15 because we just want to cover expenses. I oh, don't my wanna, God. We're trying to announce come, we don't even know the price. $20. Well, I think it's fair to include them in the in the conversation. Oh, yeah. If $20 no, no, no. too late. Covers the expenses, $15 won't cover No, expenses. if we get $150 at, at, at $15, let's see. Let's see what that equals, everyone. <laughs> Are we really going to show this to Yeah, we're trying. We just want to break yeah. even. Um, that will barely. That just covers... All right, look, Michael is hellbent on ripping everyone no, off. No, 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 fuck so it. So let's man. do $20. Fuck it. Let's make it we pay you. All right. You, yeah. you, if you want a ticket, we'll pay you to come. Fuck. We'll pay you 15, 50 bucks. You just went the opposite direction. Now, nah, look, let's just say 50. 15 is fair. 50, it's okay. our first one. We yeah. could be really shit. Let's not forget yeah, that. Yeah, true. If we do well, then we can up it to $400 the next one. I think 500 All right. yeah. All right, so fifteen dollars. We're getting Shooter Williamson. He'll be again. Alex Williamson. You all know him, the comedian. Matt. Man, I swear to God, He'll be people would pay like fifty bucks a ticket just to see him. Well, he won't be like doing a bit. He'll just be coming on. We'll just be having a chat. We're having an interview and okay. a bit. We of We got laugh. the Bachelor Brown segment. The the conclusion of the Bachelor Brown. We'll do a live prank call. The conclusion of the Black Book. We'll be live. All we will be there, and we're gonna get. F- we're gonna have a few drinks, and then we're gonna go out after. And everyone there is welcome to come. So the link to the tickets will be in the description right now. Right now, wow, that is get crazy. in quick. It's obviously if you live in Brisbane, that's handy. But you can you can travel if you yeah, want. Like it's we're not fucking. And it's sure knows, but you can fly. And it's not open to the public place. yet. All right, it's just you guys and our website members. And and Wednesday, so in two days' time, we're going to make it open to the general public. All right, so you guys get first crack. That's hectic, man. So fucking just have a look, bro. We don't even know how to sell tickets. As of right now, we don't even know how to do the, any of that shit. We are winging this on the fly. It is fucked, man. We're that's learning. our life. Pardon? But I, I reckon that's our life. This is, you, this is how we learn, though. We just we say yes, and then we worry about the rest later. And when he says yes, he means rest. Yeah, that's right. what I thought they said. That's why I panic so do you want, much. Do you want rest? And I say, yeah. But they they said Brown yes. Brown is very very nervous. Brown you, is used to concrete all around him and having fucking assistants and movies. sucking at his toes and his <laughs> yeah. teeth. I'm not stylish. nervous about the actual show. I'm nervous about the uh, the <laughs> it coming together. Yeah, well, concrete so it. Suck some yeah, fucking you, concrete you fucking on stick it? shit together, you fucking dumb bitch. Just bring some fucking half a kilo. Of cunt, Pop a movie on. Cunt, drum, drum ton of fucking concrete. Cunt. We'll get a little TV. Yeah, we can play fucking. Do you want your work Star to sponsor it? No. Hit them up. Maybe Sweet. ask your bosses Sorry. if they want to sponsor it. Come too, because it's in a building which is made of concrete. We probably did the concrete at the multi for it. at the multicultural center. Everyone on, on which is kangaroo, very that's kangaroo that's, point. We're being inclusive, and I think there's 190 spots available. So there's not that many. When, even if we don't sell out, it's probably for the best for our first ever fucking show but you know 190 seats so stop what are, right now have a look if you're interested in living in brizzy have a look right now because i don't know how long these tickets will be available for you don't even have to live in brizzy you can come from yeah, anywhere yeah of course that's if you could be fucked to come all that way for to watch us just talk oh, before, shit. it'd be good to find out who's come the furthest yeah yeah wow well, we should do like a little we'll also be announcing the winner of the comment competition, competition. Competitions, both of them. them. So the more time we have a comment competition going, the more times you comment, the more times you you enter. We're just picking a random comment from the whole season, and that person will win a thousand dollars. Also, we've realized the crowd too. We've realized. Wow, I got something coming here. It's gone. Um, We realized that. (laughs) Don't bother commenting next season or liking. No, we'll get to that next season. For now, just watch. For now, watch if you want more entries, just keep commenting because the more comments you have, the more entries are all right. But yeah, things will, sorry, things will change next season. Boy, we've had a lot to organize, haven't we? There's Mon's birthday this weekend. And then there's fucking my mum's 60th is coming up. Then there's a fucking podcast. The, what else is there to organize? There's boys so much trip, shit going on. Boys, boys trip. trip. Yep. Trip. There's so much shit going on. At the end of November, it's going to be such a relief. There's gonna, just going to be so much less stuff to do. You know what I mean? Hey, I don't like it when you touch my inner thigh. 
Like heaps don't like. <laughs> heaps of that. Sorry, dude. There are couples still flicking around. <laughs> <laughs> Man, also, next season for the podcast, we have some fucking cute little new brand deals lined up. We're going to have a little trial run, so get ready. Get your ears slicked and ready in your wallets and your cash ready to roll because we're having a uh, trial run with ath- Athletic Greens. You know, the oh, they, 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 so they spawn, the cunts who sponsor Joe Rogan's fucking podcast. And... Mother, the drink mother, which Matt is particularly excited about because he loves to wank about mothers. Well, like, I'll be honest, I've had mothers before and they make you pep up. And those athletic greens, holy shit, James. The, the mother. Yeah. AG1. The they mother. Giving us so much energy throughout the day. Like, yeah, well, let's not, we'll, we don't need to start promoting them now. Yeah. Right, we'll yeah, send we'll, them a bill we'll for like, like, Just send them an invoice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're going to have a, tr- a tr- And if the trial goes well, if you guys like the products that we're promoting, um, then yeah, then um, they'll decide to come on and stay with us um, all next season. So it's like kind of important. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fucking sponsors, wait, Michael, you have a story. Oh, we're doing shit talk. Oh yeah, this is it. Should we do sponsors is- first or fuck it? No, no, we do shit Did talk. You see first. that flala? Yeah, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. This is fucking ultimate cringe times 3,000. Marty already knows it, but Aww. fuck dad. Oh, okay. So. Oh, yeah. Here, fuck me, man. All right. Here I am going away for a weekend with my beautiful girlfriend, Amber's family. Fucking, I love their family. Amazing. Anyway, we're here at this campsite, all having a great time. They've got a, they've got a par three. At the campsite. We hide out this whole place. It's cool. just, anyway, get to the nitty gritty. We're all having fun at lunch. Me and, well, her brother-in-law is fucking teeing off, going for the hole. And I'm like, okay, I'll get up and have a hit How too. old? He's not, he's like nine. Yeah, nine or nine. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, he's, he's a grown up. He's hitting, he's a fucking amazing golfer. It's crazy. Anyway, nailing him. So he's and way I, better than you. Oh, way better than me. Yeah. Wow. He's. Brother was a professional. Anyway. What? Amber's brother was a professional? Amber's brother-in-law. Brother's, brother's brother was a... And he, fuck me. Anyway, I get up and I'm like, I want to have a hit too. With the brother? So, so I get up and <laughs> to my right of the tee off is where all the family is sitting. Yeah, I know, James. And there's fucking... There's a baby there. Newborn baby. Suckling on the teat of its mother. No, but like, it's like, probably oh, would have been two fucking kids under five. Two and, fucking oh. kids. No. It's Jesus, two. man, what kind of a campsite <laughs> is this? <laughs> this story's getting real. Anyway, right. there's a baby and two kids under five. They're not fucking. Here we are. The fuck, the whole family's there. I go, I go for my shot and, oh, there's this fireplace in front of us. Concrete around it. Awesome. You, your fault, actually. Matt. Anyway, not uh, not Ashley. Actually, Ashley. Yeah, I hit yeah. my I hit my hit, and I top the ball, and it flies into the concrete <laughs> fireplace, ricochets to the right into the family gathering picnic area, hits like a fence pole, goes through <laughs> the <floor. laughs> ting 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 ting, all these metal things, ting tings, hits her brother in the shin. I dinted his shin. Like I put a dint in his shin. Oh. And I just, I couldn't believe, I was like, oh my God, have I killed someone? Firstly, the babies were okay. Oh. Like, thank God. They were under five and then the one. And then I was like, oh my God, just like cringing inside. Like you fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> and like I, I, like, I went to the toilet and struck myself a few times after. It I would have done the down. same thing. It wasn't your fault though. Yeah. No, I hit the kinda, ball. kind of was. Well, it's yours. Well, your it's concrete. What are the odds fault. of that happening? Nine in nine in fifteen oh, thousand. Oh, thank God! Like, let's think about it. Hit the brother. Like, but it could have been, so been much worse. worse. You, imagine if you killed that baby. <laughs> I know, oh. dude. I was so like, imagine if you ki- literally killed oh. the baby. I just imagine, just yeah. I don't even want to think about that. No, no, think about that no. for a second, man. No, imagine if it hit its fucking the center of its forehead and entered its skull. No, dude, and oh. it was never right ever again. 
Oh, anyway, like you, surely, do surely that. Amber would have but to break I, up with you for that. I, you can't recover from that. <laughs> Thank they you. would have had to hold on to so much resentment and hate for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just Every think about it. Every family dinner, they talk I about it. I struck her brother with a ball. God, it was so <laughs> cringe, dude. And I was Did like, Did he oh. cry? No, he just like, he didn't tell me till later. <laughs> He's like, oh, by the way, that hit me in the shin. I was like, how did you like cover that up? And he's like, yeah, there's the dent. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, dude. And fuck. I like literally, I, I, I struck myself by myself away from them. You had a wank. Is that what you're saying? No, I just felt. Struck yourself. I'm just, I'm a bad, bad person. And I, it, my, James, you know, what? it's, I hate myself. I officially hate myself. Yeah, we've all been there and nearly killed a baby or two in our time. Remember when I hit that kid when I was coaching with a tennis ball? Oh, as yeah, as I could. yeah. That. Yeah. Have you said that story? I don't know. Oh, now's the time. <laughs> I used to coach this little Russian dude. Russian, <laughs> I think he's Russian. How old was it? He would have been like 13. <laughs> Arnold. And he was like, there was was no, name? all of the parents. His jo- name was George. Whack. I'm pretty sure his name was oh, George. Okay. Yeah, it's not that way. And um, oh, I used to be so weird to him. And every now and then I'd just like, I'd be at the net like feeding him balls and he'd be on the base on the other side. And then every now and then I'd just like, just to be weird, I'd hit a ball as hard as I could into the net, like off the ground, just mm. bang into the net. And <laughs> and this time, I, this one time I just miscued it slightly and it just shaved over the top of the net and was like a fucking bullet. I <laughs> nailed it so hard and it just slammed him in the chest. He was just standing on the base on the other end and hit him in the chest and he immediately starts crying. <laughs> Imagine if his mum was there. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Did I'm you like, run oh, to him and go, oh, yeah, of course. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry, mate. That was an accident. And it's like, I'm trying to be weird. So it's not like, it's so preventable. What was he like? That's all yeah, good. Yeah. And like, how do you recover from that? Like, does he trust you again every lesson or is it just over? That's it. Yeah. 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 It was fine after a while, but yeah, it was a bit fucking awkward there for a bit. Oh my God. <laughs> well, at least you didn't have his family there. Like, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. That would have been, been the end dad's of like, it. I thought you were good at golf. You got a hole in one. I was just like, yeah, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> just to feed and then you went and struck yourself yeah, off in the bathroom. <laughs> struck yourself all over the back of the bathroom. Uh, no, the legit, like, you know, when you just look at yourself in the mirror and you just go, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was doing that, dude. Oh, I fucking hate myself. Is it because of the shot or because you hit someone? Because I fucking, it's just, oh, I put lives at risk, firstly. And yeah, I hit someone in the shin with a golf ball. Could have killed a baby. Cut that. Out of all of the you ways. keep me saying cut that, Connor, but cut what Out you said. Eight, you can't no, have that. No. Oh, did cut I say that, that didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think would, I yeah. think about it. No, no, no. And no. it puts... We're cutting, it. <laughs> We're cutting it and that's cut. All right, that's fucked. I, I, come, I become honest and vulnerable with you boys. You hurt me. I want to go to the mirror and hate myself again. Oh, Man, out of go. all the ways to kill a baby, <laughs> that's the shittest. The shittest. Oh shit! I keep anyway, tearing. you might be wondering, um, oh, what the fuck? The boys have got uh, some beers in their hands. Well, the other, this is the other thing. This time of year, it's like hectic as fuck. We got to try and get all that content done so that we can have a break at the end of the year. It's brand deal season, so we're getting hit up left, right, and center. We got the podcast finale coming up. Everything's coming to an end, so it's busy as fuck. And we got a brand deal with Carlton, so we had to go and buy a carton <laughs> a couple of days ago, and here it is. This is the buy this. It no, we're not, no. Oh. And you say no. that. Oh. No, we are, we are not the bill. Look, we we are we will promote them when, was a when we are paid to promote them, and not at any other time. <laughs> we're not talking about Nord right now, are we? No, yeah, Nord's really just. <laughs> by the way, get Nord VPN. Yeah, no, don't. I mean, get don't. Nord VPN. Disregard oh, what Matt fuck, said. Fuck, that's another bill. <laughs> other invoice. Anyway, yeah, busy let's tonight. move on. Sponsors. <laughs> Yeah, get these sponsors. <sighs> Fucking hell. Look at what you've become. You've become a shadow of your former self. Slothing around the house. Gained weight. Depression prickling through your neck all the way up the base of your brain stem. You've got no friends or loved ones. You drink piss like it's water and you look like a fucking monster 
okay? If this is you, you need to get up. Get up! Get on your phone and go to manscaped.com. They have got a range of products that will pull you out of your pit of misery shit and lift you back into the real world, you fucking cunt! They've got products that will make you look slim and clean and pretty and sparkly so sluts will slop on your cock and balls, bitch. Don't you want your cock and slop balls, cunt? Well, go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. If you want to get sucked off, how long's it been, Carl? Months! Go to manscaped.com and shave that beard, you miserable, dirty cunt! Your parents aren't proud of you. No one is. Oh, everything's coming true what they said at school. You're nothing! Go to manscaped.com and let them help. For fuck's sake, you drain, you drain on society. Fix it with Manscaped. Also for women. Also for women, yeah. I was just going to say. <laughs> Fucking leeches. Oh, oh. They got all sorts of products, man. For fuck's sake. I'm not going to even... Yeah, don't t- just don't. trust me, okay? That will help you. Is it? Yeah, there. We'll just show you picture, picture. Anyway, that's Manscaped. <laughs> Our other sponsor is the unit. What are you <sighs> singing about? <clears throat> the other sponsor is I the University. Me. It's happening of Marco, which is our subscription website, right? And it funds our lives where we post weekly videos that are like thirty to forty minutes long. And the video that's out right now is our. Crazy Ecker vlog, bro. Remember the Ecker? The Ecker's like the Brisbane show. We went there and we vlogged our day. Me, Michael, Julian, James. It was fucking fun. It's out on the fucking website. Plus, we got 220 other videos where we fucking mutilate ourselves. We shit on each other. There's fucked up experiments and shit that we can't post social media. Am I right or what can't? Mate, uh, you are 100% correct. And every video you see on social media, guess what? Extended, uncensored versions on the website. You don't believe me? 21 day free trial. Link in the description. You don't have to pay a cent for 21 days. And I dare you to sign up, cunt. Because once you do and you see those videos, you ain't leaving nowhere. Can't. Are they that good? Yes. Yeah. And again, anyone who watches at least seven videos stays on forever. And that is a scientific fact. You ain't seen nothing yet. And that's real. That's a fact. You have not signed up and seen nothing. We've been pissing on each other <laughs> while you haven't been here. That's a website video. I must that's say, out. and this is coming out like where, uh, sorry about where I sit or where you sit for, for where we sit for Fortnite has urine on it. Did you clean it? I tried. That's good enough. That means you didn't. Wait, where would, we'll talk about it. Yeah, this is, we thought of a video idea. I thought you were a urinal. And basically, it was just like, we just go and piss on each other while the other one doesn't know what's happening. So it's pretty good. Yeah, but that's not for social media. Yeah, obviously, we can't put that out there. Otherwise, Zuckerberg will come and fucking shoot us in the fucking head, cunt. <laughs> fucking bomb, cunt. Your career's over, you dog slut. And that's the sponsors. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I can't wait to hear this clap in a, in a, with a lot of people. Yeah, like 15. Yeah, 15 to 29. Yeah. Mm. All right, that's it. That's what it's going to be. Um, all right, let's move on to um, On This Days and shit. We'll get that done. And then Jimbo can fuck come on for the rest of the fuck podcast. All right. Bong Bray. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Hey. All right, guys, this is on this day where, where Matt comes in and he researches uh, um, uh, uh, something that has happened in history that happened on this day many years ago. It's 
very exciting. Matt puts a lot of effort into this. Very tired. He really, really, really. Don't you, Matt, eh? Remember? Yeah. On this day in 1997, Amber Heard received a large cat for her birthday. Oh, that's nice. She was so happy at her present that she fell in love with her cat immediately. Her mum said, what would you like to call her? And Amber replied, Schlangbrock. However, the cat Schlangbrock was quite cold towards Amber and would often ignore his kitty litter box and just shit directly on Amber's bed. No one else's bed, just Amber's. 11-year-old Amber began crying one day and said to her mother, Mum, why does Schlangbrock always shit on my bed? It's how he shows his love, Amber. Every time he shits on your bed, he's saying, I really, really love you, said her mother. Amber felt better immediately, and I'm sure that that piece of information never affected her life in any way, shape, or form. (laughs) I'm Matt Brown, and I'm a sexy goddess. Watch me touch myself now. Brown? Always have to put in those little bits at the end, don't you, mate? Hey? Yeah. You're always bloody trying to sneak that shit in. Yeah. <laughs> You're browning, brown. Brown, brown. So that's why she did what she did. She was just trying to show her love. Did you know oh, that yeah. we, we all have childhood love. trauma? What's your childhood trauma? I reckon getting everything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been so horrific. It must have been so bad. I had 12 people sleep over for one sleepover for a birthday. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked. I had Esther's sleepover on the weekend and four was fucked. Why? They were eight though. You got you would have been a bit older. <sighs> yeah, I was like year three. All oh, right, so not that much older. Yeah, that's fucked. No, year four. Okay, yeah, that's... What year is Esther in? Year two. Oh, wow. Like they get... Sweet. It's hard. She looks so much older. It's hard to like control them when they're that young because their attention span so fucked and they can't do anything yet like what'd you do just, just dance yeah i was just dancing the whole time fuck getting absolutely plastered <laughs> did they drink <laughs> no. yeah yeah the kids got to have it too <laughs> no, there was no drinking involved i did see the birthday um celebration Song. it looked yeah everyone's everyone wanted to be center of attention from the kids. have you ever shat on a bed no no. In bed, I have, but I got it out. Like, yeah, okay. Time, yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right, we'll move on. All right, Marty's diary entry. This is just where I find some diary entries just throughout mum's house that she's tried to throw away, but I found them. Entry number 96 <laughs> I'll wait for that to stop. And here I go. (coughs) Today at school, all our kids were talking about a sleepover they were going to have. I asked if I could come, but they said no and said that I smelt funny. I said it was probably just from the gehaktes Fleisch that I had had for breakfast. They all looked confused at me. I had some gehaktes Fleisch in my bag for lunch and I pulled it out and showed them. They all started yelling and one even started gagging. Another kid stabbed my long German neck because my body (laughs) is mostly neck. I cried and said, Mein Hertz, Mein (laughs) Hertz. And the kids laughed. The teacher sent me home. Hopefully I can still go to that sleepover. It was a hopeful day. (laughs) Mein Hertz, Mein Hertz. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That's what I said. Fucking good story, and we've probably said this before, but there was a German exchange student that came to our school when I was in year 10, and Marty was in year 11. His name was Philip. He was in German. Philip. Philip is Philip. <laughs> Philip. He was a woman. Yeah, well, we, yeah, he chose to be that woman that day. And he slept over one night with me and Marty. <laughs> we were playing Monopoly on the Xbox. <laughs> Remember, all you got to do and is press A. Yeah, yeah. We figured did you out befriend him say. and then invite him, or did you were just like, yeah, he was a part of the tennis program. Yeah, yeah. So he, he was like, he, he got into it. Like, so he stayed over, and it started. I think the house sort of triggered this. Was yeah, he's like, oh, your, your name on Monopoly. Monopoly you got to pick your name, and we, just, I made his name Hutz. 
Just neck. Right? He was so confused. Why you choose neck? Uh, why you say that? Why you take me as neck? <laughs> anyway, I'm fucking pissing myself with that. And then like later on, we're like, me and Marty start kissing each other. <laughs> and he's, How old are He's you? like, no, no, <laughs> stop. We're just look, it sounds weird, but we're just trying to freak him out as much as we can. How old are you? This it's is like, like grade 10. 16. And you're like making out with each other. No, like not making the, out. Like just. No, we just. Like, just oh, okay. Like we'll be playing Monopoly, like pressing A, 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 A. It's A. Pre, predetermined yeah, like, like, that we're going to do this to fuck with him. Each other. The poor German didn't see what he was freaking doing. out. Yeah, he was. He's, He's like, like stop, stop that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, thought, he thought we were like oh. trying to like entice a threesome yeah. or something. <laughs> he thought we were trying to fuck him. <laughs> So good, dude. He's freaking out. I leave. I leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nah, dude. We're Terrible just kidding German around. accent, man. Anyway, it was fucking. Did was you like ever hang out with him offensive. after that? Yeah, yeah. But he was a bit weary. Yeah, a bit weary. Of Did it. he ever get it? Uh, eventually, I think he got into like he started trying to kiss us. Eventually, yeah. It, like once he fully got to know us and saw that it's just all about shock humor. Yeah, he he fully tossed Michael off. <laughs> 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 Oh man, funny times. I like that. <clears throat> all right, now it's time for Michael's Bible, where Michael has detailed all of his super wisdom bits and put them in a book. And he's going to read a bit, piece of wisdom out for you now. And he would prefer to be called as Beezus while he addresses you during this. So don't call him Michael. Man, it is raining outside. <clears throat> That's a solid observation. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Oh, and speaking of Philip, here we go. This is a relevant chapter. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. Reasons why Germany is not as good as everywhere else. Sake. Fucking hell. Their sausages are too thick. So they're meant to be made, but anyway. They talk like dragons. I'll give you that one. <laughs> they created the concept daylight savings time. I don't, I don't think that we First that. to do it. Yep, first to do it. Seriously. They have the longest word ever created with 79 letters. Well, that's just sometimes words need to be long. The word is Donondo em Fuschnickle afat selectristatat en folo fedbitir trub work by unto the beer meanton guest selectishwaft. How do you go? Yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> they are all born with either six fingers or six toes. Yours have been removed. It's true. They have over 400 zoos, which is the most in the world. Yeah, I love zoos, man. Yeah, but like, you know me. Do it. You know me. I love zoos. They don't believe in washing machines. It's like 1980s or 1800 shit. They Put it in the sun. Juice or juice is banned in their country. Zuft. Zuft is juice. 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 Sorry. Oh. They have the highest rate of germs. And also what they did. The end. Sorry. No, I'm not clapping on that one. Uh, okay, okay. That's that's it. That's rude. That's an offense. Honestly, look them all up. They're all facts. I swear to God. Especially the last one. All right, guys. Before we move on to the lying oh, segment, oh, yes. Before we move on to the lying segment and the Bachelor Brown segment, which we don't have someone for, we. We we have oh. the most fucked segment in the world. What? This segment is where Matt Gregory Brown has oh. detailed all of his sexual encounters ever since he first started juicing his sack on things. This is Matt Brown's black book. A couple still flicking around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm now exploring the book of Habs. Oh. This is the only way to open it, Matt. I'll try and preserve it a bit. That sounds like bones breaking. Well, it's written in bone. <laughs> Found it. I found the spot. 
Okay, as you might well remember, we found out last week that Matt knows Jeff Dahmer. So shut up and listen. They've organised to go on a date. <sighs> After they <laughs> fucked organs. <laughs> Lamas. Have <laughs> number 71. <laughs> I was ripping the long legs off of grasshoppers and placing them on active ants' nests. <laughs> I would, I would get excited when the ant swarmed the grasshopper, as the grasshopper could not no longer hop away. I glanced down at my watch. It was 6pm. I better stop playing and start getting ready for my date with Jeff. I, sp- I splash my face with sheep's blood and pick off any visible ticks. Then I put on my favourite work shirt and some stockings. My scrotum pulsed loudly in the tight black stockings. Boom, boom, boom. I leave my house and bound backwards to Jeff's. I arrive at his apartment block block and buzz his apartment. Hello? Hey, Jeff, it's me, Matt Brown. Great. Come on up, Matty. I've got some brewskis waiting for you. I walk through the door and walk down the hallway to his apartment. What a shithole, I thought to myself. I knock on Jeff's door and he opens immediately. Come on in, Matt. I enter his apartment and am hit by one of the most tantalizing smells I've ever smelled. I inhale deeply and let the stink swirl in my lungs before my veins carry the smell all to the all parts of my body. Wow, what is that incredible odor? It's divine. Oh, oh, you, you, you like it? Yeah, I like it too. It's just this new cologne I've been trying. I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted this smell in my nose forever. Here, Maddie, I made you a brewski. Although I don't really drink much, I didn't want to be rude. I take the drink and have a large mouthful. The drink seemed very grainy, but I couldn't get over what wonderful smell and ignored it and kept drinking. We sit down in his lounge room and start chatting. We speak about our sexual fantasies and how attractive we think corpses are. (laughs) We sure do have a lot in common. Then suddenly, I start feeling a little weak. My head became incredibly heavy. Ugh, I'm feeling a bit sick, Jeff. Oh, don't worry, Matt. It's probably just the brewski kicking in. I look down at my drink and see floating specks of white powder. Oh, no. Just as I realize that I had been drugged, I lose all control of my body. I fight to stay conscious. Just go to sleep, man. It's been real fun getting to know you. I almost feel bad about killing you. I see Jeff stand and walk over to me. I was defenseless. There was nothing I could do. The cunt had me well and truly beat. I feel Jeff grab my head just as I start to pass out. Wait, there's still a chance I can get out of this. I need to enter a dream state. If I can have a dream and turn it into a wet dream, I may be able to ejaculate my scalding hot mint onto Jeff and burn him. It's a long shot, but it's the only chance I have. I come into my dream. I'm at my house and there's no one around. I needed to find something to fuck and quick. I open my front door and it's pouring rain. The sky is pitch black. Where the fuck is everyone? What is this dream? I panic and start bounding backwards towards the middle of the dream city. Surely I will find people there. Rain is pelting down on me as I bound from building to building. Then I realize this is a dream. I should be able to fly. I leap into the air and glide towards my destination. Just like a sugar glider. I land smack bang in the middle of the city. I look around as the rain continues to pound out of the sky. Still no one. Then I see movement up ahead. I can't make out who it is. This person comes closer out of the darkness and I can see more people behind that person. Then people start pouring out of the buildings around me. All these people are wearing the same exact thing. Black suits and black sunglasses. Very quickly I I am completely surrounded by a sea of people and then I see that it is all one the same person. Question. Hundreds of questions. One question steps forwards to speak to me. Question. What are you doing in my dream? (laughs) Oh, Matt. You stupid fucking cunt pig bitch. You think this is all by chance? Question. What are you talking about? Let me fuck one of you. I don't have much time for this. (laughs) Oh, Matty. Shut up and listen. I'm the one who taught Jeff everything he knows. I'm the one who sent him to your house. I'm the one who taught him how to drug and fuck. And now you're here, trapped in a nightmare with a thousand versions of me. And the only way out of this is if you defeat all of us and then have us. No, this can't be real. Oh, it's real, Matt. That drug Jeff gave you is something I've been working on my whole life and ensures that I can enter whatever dream you're having and control it. 
I knew you would try and have a wet dream as a large ditch attempt to survive, so this is the only way I can make sure that that doesn't happen. And now we kill you in this nightmare, <clears throat> which means you won't wake up in real life, which means Jeff will fuck your organs to pieces, and you will be dead again, for real this time. I stood, mouth agape. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. This whole time, Queston had been training Jeff, and now he was in my dream to stop me from having a wet dream so I wouldn't burn Jeff with my hot mints. He had everything thought of. Genius. I quickly realized there was only one way out of this. I was going to have to fight all of these Questons, and have one as soon as possible. I smiled at Queston as rain continued to fall on all of us. Bring it on, Questons. The Questons all looked at each other in shock. Before they could comprehend my reaction, I attacked. To be continued. Oh wow, this is fucking you! You wrote Matrix. You wrote the movie The Matrix. Really? Is Did that why that? it's the blockbuster thing? Must be like that. Was why. The Matrix at blockbuster? Is that why you love it? That's why you love film, Matt. You always Beetle. go quiet after the black book. You it's love weird. Feetle. It's your diary, your innermost secrets. Don't you want to comment on them? You feel film. You so, feel film. Do you understand what's happening right now? You have to have a wet dream in order to spunk on um, Jeff in real life to get him off of you. Get used to that uniform, uh, mate. Are you getting a chair for James? Thank you. All right, Matt, we'll now get a chair for James. That <laughs> 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 sounds <laughs> fake. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fake. Sorry. God, we're in our mid 30s <laughs> and Matt's in his early to mid 40s. I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get Jimbo Jono on the. Have we got a mic? That's Is See? that set up? Yeah, so flick that there. And that one's always the on. There's a couple go. still flicking, flicking around. around. <laughs> um, and James can have headphones too. Yes, yeah, that's it. Wow. All right, James is back on, guys, because Paulie and Blake couldn't come on. So we so thought, James, Jimbo, Jono, come on. We'll have some of oh, our brand deal good. beers and we'll have a fucking chat. Hello. All right, James, we got fucking Jimbo, Jono back on. You know what I thought of the other day? What? Um, remember when Henry had that place at Aurora? Oh. <sighs> It's good times. And good what times. was that? Because um, this is years ago, like 10 years ago, James had um, brought home a girl. <laughs> and what song was Michael singing? Yeah, I, th I think the, the chorus was, <laughs> she's just a hole. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we can talk about that. <laughs> oh, it makes me look like such an <laughs> arsehole. And I this wasn't a random this. girl either. This was a girl I'd been seeing for like, Two months. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, everybody. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry to everybody? You just say sorry oh, directly to me. Sorry, James. <laughs> and to that girl. Yeah. I'm not going to say yeah. her May name. May she but... rest in peace. Yeah, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> was this at James's house or was Henry's house? No, that was at Henry's. Yeah. That one. Yeah, was that James's was... house when, what about when we, oh, yeah, I can't yeah, remember yeah. if she was my girlfriend or not. I think she kind of was, kind of wasn't. Yeah, so James would, some, and then there was a stage also at your sister's place <laughs> where we were babysitting. Oh, uh, yeah. House sitting, sorry. And and then um, Luke, uh, one of our other mates, had a girl over and then Michael and I were like, oh, let's like mess with her and freak her out a bit. Have we told this story? I don't know. Surely we'll not. We'll tell it again. And um, Michael's like, oh, I know, I'll, like, um, I'll bring a shit out because that's what Michael usually did at his house to freak people out. He would just bring <laughs> one of his shits out in the lounge room. So Michael, she comes over and she's just sitting in the lounge room awkwardly and Michael comes out with a shit in his hand and puts it in the middle of the <laughs> lounge room floor and then starts, like, rubbing his hands and, like, like warming, <laughs> like warming himself. Cave, you join me. Like, pretending we're, we're it's like, a fire. We're both pretending it was, like, really Well, warm. I just had a hammer in my lap and I was just staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's right. You that know a, that girl too. Oh, is it who I think it is. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, fuck. My we, sister's neighbors. Oh man, they must. They must have been so confused because they go from having oh, my, my sister, God. who's like born again Christian and respectful and lovely, she'd like say good morning to them in the morning, probably bring their paper in and stuff. To to us. Who oh. would we like purposely? Do you remember when who, some, someone had someone over again and we just, we played, it was me actually, I was the victim. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. And, and you played, someone played, put on porn 
and yeah. turned the volume as to the loud maximum. as that TV <laughs> to would to the go. maximum. I so my neighbors that. are just like sitting in their house, probably having a nice family dinner. <laughs> All the like windows are open and shit. <laughs> oh, so you didn't know that, and we just did that to you. No, yeah, you didn't hear what it. not? Yeah. Fuck, man. And, yeah. then, and then when we eventually did turn it off, like <laughs> there was a moment of silence and then you could hear very clearly the neighbours just normal talking conversations. Oh. And we were blaring porn oh. on the TV. <laughs> Sometimes I hear all these stories of what we used to do and I go, fuck, I was a yeah, bad Yeah, you used to be a guy. loose unit on the fucking piss. I was you a were bad. Fucking, you weren't we, that bad, Mikey. You remember, just come over, lie on the floor and eat red frogs Yeah, for that's a when he was sober. But him on the piss can he did some oh, fuck shit. he didn't shit shower at oh, your man. place either. Do you remember that? <laughs> I just like, man, yeah. there is, Bad, bad you know what, dude. You know what would have been shower a, him sometimes. Do you, do you remember what would have been a great video that Christmas day when Michael got so fucking hammered he passed out at like ten p.m. Oh, and Jack, me and James, like, oh, let's let's do a roast, and we put a fucking roast in the oven, so we like had to stay out for like six hours, <laughs> and we were just <laughs> fucking with him so much. He was completely passed out. <laughs> he always has been like this. Everyone's always like, oh, that's fake, as if you wouldn't wake up. No, once he he's remember. gone. No, I, I remember the pictures. From Do you remember the, the Kairos Christmas where we had that dog? Yeah, vaguely. And what you yeah. threw a plum in its ass? That, that was Marty. It was yeah, a I good got shot it right on the ass. But anyway, Michael passed out. We coloured his half his face in completely in black, Nico, and his teeth, <laughs> and his teeth. And then I got the salt, <laughs> the salt shaker, and just free pouring salt into his ma- open mouth. He was like this. Oh, <laughs> free pouring salt. Yeah, it's been so dehydrated oh, already. And tomato sauce. <laughs> your mouth oh. was full of salt. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we, were, oh. we were crying for like four hours just pissing oh, well, ourselves. Like at least at like I happened. made you guys happy. Oh, and then dude. like, oh, remember the, 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 you had a straw broom and we yes. were slapping him <laughs> with it and then quickly lying down. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd wake up and be like. No, you wouldn't wake up. <laughs> Oh my god! No, I remember, dude, you were out. I remember a good memory I have is like a good memory. Well, not even a good memory. <laughs> just another fucked memory of Michael being too fucked. Is when you we, we were in Sydney, and I'd been out all night with you and some fucking sex offender. Oh my god, Michael! Like on benders, would get so annoying about not. Oh. Like, it, like he would get so angry if we wanted to just like go to bed or something. So we'd always go out and find the weirdest scum fuck. And to I had this fucking with. freak with me who was, was actually just, a sex offender. He told us later in the night. Oh man, I'm a convicted sex offender. I was like, so Michael was having a did bender. Did he have to him. tell you that, or was, he, was that just let's come up in conversation? Came out. And I was right like, are you a sex out. offender? I don't know. Yeah, and then Marty ditched straight away, and I spent. A few more hours with him because I was like, I haven't got Marty now, so I may as well just hang out with him. <laughs> he was strange, and he's probably he used to be. Has he? He's we a fan. Was, this is when we we're doing videos still. So he's like, oh, I can't believe I'm with you guys. And so he's probably watching this. You never know. Oh, that was very <laughs> early on, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember coming to like meet up with James, and we're gonna. The whole journey that day was we're going driving from Sydney to Brisbane again. And it's like, all right, we're gonna have a stopover halfway through, but. We ha- we're in the car with each other, basically. Oh, dude, you skipped the breakfast. Oh, oh that was yeah. so awkward. Oh, my God. I brought God. him to the breakfast. Yes. Yeah, and I, I was having, that. like, a farewell breakfast oh, with some of my mates. Sydney friends. Like, Johnny and Rosie were there. Oh, and Rosie's, man. like, you know, by then, she's pretty far in her life. Like, yeah, she's, like, doing like well. Sober people at, like, 9 a.m. So sober. sober like as just sober as you can like, be. Like, and just real happy, normal. And then Michael come, rocks up. Fucked. Looks like a fucking yeah, meth was- head junkie cunt. It was bad. With his fucking sex offender bender buddy. <laughs> oh my God. And I just Takes saw him the cat, mate. Sex offender bender buddy. Holy shit. Yeah, I had to have a lot. Why did you chat bring him? him? I think, yeah, you pulled me aside and you're like, oh, he's got to go. I was like, yeah, I get yeah. it. I was like, yeah, sorry. Sorry, dude. man. If you're watching, you know, I'm, I'm sure sorry. you understand you're he's a piece of shit. probably got his fucking thumb up a corpse <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Dharma shit. Yeah. Anyway, then I remember we get fucking into the car and then James <laughs> goes, this can't happen. <laughs> He just starts heading for his old school that he used to work yeah. at. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm like twisted as fuck. And I, all of a sudden I'm at like this school fate fair. Yeah, the <laughs> markets are on there. Like one of the biggest markets in Sydney. I'm in a fucking school with kids and families all around me. At Still selling shit. drunk cheese. as fuck. And like James is like pulling me through them. Just like, just concentrate, Michael. We're walking through. <laughs> Pulls me upstairs to his classroom. <laughs> next to his classroom. He's yeah. like, oh, that's my classroom. But- you're going in here, Michael. 
pulls me into like a bathroom, strips me naked and just hoses me down. It's because he smelled like shit, I'm yeah. pretty sure. We had, yeah. a, we had a 10 hour drive. I wasn't going to sit through that. And I didn't like, it was, <laughs> yeah, dude, you, smelled, it was smelled. a mixture of like alcohol, BO and, and fresh shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, maybe I shut myself. <laughs> oh my God. The yeah. fuck? Oh, that's yeah, I just remember like mumbling shit to James as I'm looking at <laughs> the screaming <laughs> US sanctions out the window. <laughs> as I'm showering you. Sanctions. Sanction, that's it. Sanctions, sanctions of the US. Of the US. <laughs> Imagine just having a nice Saturday browse around the market <laughs> and looking up at the window seeing, and just seeing, seeing this some cunt getting hosed. Crazy oh, man, man in the shower screaming <laughs> sanctions of the in US. A school? One of the teachers of the school. Yeah. Oh, Dude, man. Oh I don't I'm know like if pulling we... your hair back into the fucking <laughs> shower. I oh. still remember you chuckling at that. It was like, very like, funny. I that was a say. good call. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that la- the sanctions of the US lasted for so yeah, long. That was, it's it's come and gone. It's come and gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, they, oh. Dude, have we told the story of when um, we were, <laughs> this is when we were like fucking 17 and we were drinking with bloody Jesse and, and Jesse's like, oh, no, I'm just going to have a quiet night. We'd always go over to Jesse's. He's like a few years older and we'd always just get fucking written off at his house. And we're like, <laughs> we're like whenever he turned his back oh. we would skull it was a poker <laughs> night so we all played poker but me and marty were like we're not here to play poker so we put all in straight away so we could just focus on drinking <laughs> but like but jesse had no idea that we were just getting fucking like every, he turned his back to watch tv we'd neck as or much as we game. could and then as soon as he's turning out we quickly put the beer back down <laughs> and then after a while he turned around and would saw that there's like fucking 12 empty beers and he's like what the fuck have you guys been drinking and we're like, yeah yeah whatever and then jesse went to bed and then michael fucking passed out because we drank so fast and that's the first night i started like fucking with you while you were passed out yeah yeah i yeah. took all of michael's clothes off while he was asleep <laughs> put them in water and then put them in the freezer <laughs> oh, <laughs> genius then i put a broom a broom next to him i had no idea that jesse's parents would walk down in the oh, morning God. and great no completely naked? And grandma no so he he's, had, oh yeah completely naked yeah completely yeah, yeah. i'm like I, and he made me look like i was cradling this <laughs> fucking broom it, like, i ripped his i remember still like i'd rip down his legs a little bit and then lie down because i didn't want him awake and he'd stir a little bit and then I'd slowly w- wait five minutes for him to be in a deep sleep That's and then rip his pants down a bit more. <laughs> so Such commitment. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is so sick. Then, <laughs> it's no, fucked I up. didn't sleep. And then it, like, I just couldn't get Are to you sleep. you laughing like dude, uncontrolled? myself, man. <laughs> I was oh, naked. Man, I wish I was there. <laughs> and, then, and then in the morning, because I was just expecting he'd wake up and be like, oh, where's my clothes? And then find his frozen clothes. But no, we get a beautiful cherry on top. I hear someone coming down the stairs oh. and I'm like, Oh, she quickly pretend to be asleep. I had to put the blanket over my head because I was pissing myself <laughs> up. Michael's lying there, spread eagle naked on the floor with a broom next to him. And I just hear the footsteps walk and then stop in the middle of the room and then continue walking. Walk into our mate Jesse's room and she's like, Jesse, Michael's passed out of sleep naked in the other room. Oh, man. Is he? And that was the first night you pissed. Yeah, yeah. That's when the pissing began. That's the first night he pissed. Wait, man. Maybe oh. you're the cause of the piss. No, I didn't make him <laughs> binge drink like that. I, I just know, got maybe him naked. the nakedness and he just it yeah, started it. And yeah. Stuff. But like, fuck, his grandma, mum, and sister all saw and all hated me since. Like whenever I went over to his house, his grandma would just shake his head at me. <laughs> shake like, his head. Oh, not you. <laughs> like, oh man, like I couldn't his ever like- Shake uh, his head. Yeah. It was, it sucked. Like oh, that man. sucked. Oh, but like, oh, then when you get used story. to just being that guy and hate it, it's like, oh yeah, it's me again. Sorry. Did you never get that drunk before that? Like, I wonder why all of a sudden you started passing out and like we could- not wake him up. Mm, I know, like, yeah. That oh, video where you're like hitting him with the thong, that is such a good representation. We could do anything to you and you just Oh, sleep. the bench at I the think coast. Henry, and then like and immediately, yeah. immediately would best. fall asleep again. Immediately. So, I miss if, it a if, bit. if he did wake up briefly, but like, don't. Yeah. Back, <laughs> yeah, gone, yeah, one done. Word yeah, and that'd be off. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been well, I reckon fuck. I have this memory that Henry started pissing and then I got inspired by it. Dude, I don't know if it was like no. a conscious decision to be like, nah. no, no, but that's Henry's what I like to it. think. Anyway, fucking for anyone who does piss to bed, it's not good. Like, yeah, like, but it's kind of okay. 
Well, yeah, it's, it's like, like there could be worse. Like, you could it, have cancer or it something. Could, no, it couldn't. It can happen, but like you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't drink so much that you can't yeah, wake up. Yeah, obviously, don't do yourself. that. What's like, the lesson much- you would give, Michael? Would you say be honest about it up front? Sleep in the bathtub. What did or- you learn from all of that pissing? <laughs> Is space your drinks? Okay. okay. Yeah, so be a little more... Res- and look, Michael's sitting here saying now that he would be more responsible with his drinks in the past. Yeah, yeah. Avoid well, all that Yeah, yeah. It takes And years. we are. Like, yeah. we have completely changed the way we drink. We would... Yeah, it was not good. We would drink to Wait, only let's skull get this plastic. beer and yeah. get of it. Cheers to that can. <laughs> oh, are we actually skulling? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I meant what I said. Tonight. I meant what I but said. But no, but we don't endorse binge drinking and, and we are living proof of what can happen if you continue to binge drink through your 20s and it's not good. It's a hard habit to turn around. Yeah, it's a not, very hard habit to turn around. It was hard work for you boys. Oh, yeah. man, it still is. It still it's still is like, hard it's work. It's like a wave. It comes in like waves and but like yeah you, just, you once you learn that habit you can't get it of, yeah like, i it's agree hard. it's like I smoking can, like fuck me if you're a smoker you will always be a smoker yeah guaranteed and, and same with it's even, always in the back of your mind having a mm, cigarette same with even always weed, or even weed now i was like smoking weed like every night just not during the day just before bed and as soon as i stopped smoking weed which was fucking hard to do for like a couple of yeah, weeks it's so nice my sleeps were so much better i was waking up at like fucking 6 30 a.m on my own like like so much more energy. So mm. even with weed, just smoke sometimes. If you are smoking every day, it's not fucking good, man. Cocaine, those that's fucking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. do that shit. whenever you want. Mm. Oh, that's like do it whenever you want. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were serious. From where I was like, that is the worst in terms of addiction. <laughs> oh, got you. Do you have a addictive line. personality? What? No, oh, he's only addicted to. I don't to, think so either. To I, clunge, yeah, clunge. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Marty's right. Once you once you learn that, you can't. Un- I think you can't unlearn it because I can. I, I can turn. I can not drink easy. Yeah. Mm. It's so easy. Even smoking. I smoked for like six or seven years. Over a long one, I just yeah. you, I stopped. Oh man! But yeah, it just. I, d- I also think addiction though is very genetic, and if mm. if you don't have that gene, then it's much easier to control all that. Shit. I just think I have different yeah, addictions. Like, I don't wear like jeans what? half the time. Wanking. Mm. That's addiction. Is definitely wanking. Hunting. Have you found the cum bottle? No. That's <laughs> fucked, man. Matt, you, you like honestly? <laughs> How do you like lose so a cum? I don't know. I. That's probably the most devastating thing that's happened on the podcast. We I could have brought it to the finale. I reckon be. you've thrown it out in the move I and promise. just been like, I'll tell the boys I I've lost it. You. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You, you, were worried, okay. you were worried that my a certain wrong. someone was going to see it Ooh. and you fucking poured it down. No, no, no. shook my I hand. I shook his ass right in our friendship. I, I did not throw it out. On that okay. note, let's have a quick bong break. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back with lying. Marty, do the jingle. Do the jingle. The lying segment, all right? And we're back. All right, guys, it's time for the lying segment. Now, um, as you know, uh, we used to lie to Lockie a lot. Well, guess what? During the week this week, we're like, oh, what can we do for the lying segment? And then we thought of something so beautiful. So Lockie has recently organized us some signage, like some- um, beautiful, For his business. Yeah. Some like light signs or something. Fuck. Right? Can we- We got to shout that out. Is that- It's not his business. Yeah, yeah. It's his business. Seriously. What? He owns a stake in that. What? Yep. He does not. Fuck, Lockie no. owns a stake in everything. Anyway, fuck. The link will be in the description if you want to buy no, these signs. Not. They're sick as fuck. So I won't, I won't Does he really have a part that. in that? Because that is so cool. If you I'll do have a beer if that's true. It know. is true, I swear. Does he? Yeah. Anyway. That's so cool, Lockie. All right. So he said. Gotcha. Us- oh, bullshit. Nah, it's actually. And that's real. the lie. <laughs> <laughs> the lie was me lying. Anyway, sorry. <sighs> Inception three. Hang on. So does he act, does he or does he not? <laughs> he does. Wow. Does he? Cool. Yeah, he fully does. Oh, I was hoping you go. No, no, so hard to keep up. no, no, no. He actually so does. So hard to keep up. Anyway, oh, all right. He's. Oh, we've ordered some signs off him. They were meant to arrive last Friday, so I'm going to call him now and say, "Oh, hey, dude. The signs arrived this morning, but um, one of the um, letters on the. I'll say the sorry. The sorry sign doesn't light up. Yeah, Is there yeah. something that I'm missing here? I'll say that. All right. Yeah. Shooter Williamson will be on our finale. And then so realize, hot. oh, be like, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's actually a crack. Oh, no. Tickets are on sale now. 
All right, we'll put that on ice. All right, lucky. I will hopefully call back. I just messaged him and said, hey, dude, just putting the signs up. Can you give me a quick buzz? One's not working, I don't think. <sighs> he planted the seed. He's, no. He will be onto this, though. He'll be saying, saying in his head, are they fucking lying to me? We have abused him so much. It's a lies. very good lie, though. Even if he's thinking that, he'll... he'll have a conversation. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'll be, oh, no, no, dude, honestly, it's fine. And then I could even be like, oh, dude, don't worry about it, man. I just got it to work. It's all good. When he calls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, you fucking idiot. You this call back, you arrived. dumb cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, all right, we've planted the seed for that. Hopefully he calls back before the end of the what film. On? If we got, oh, we got questions. <laughs> yes, we do, Flunton. All right, oh. no Bachelor Brown this week, but we do have some fucking hardcore questions that the Brown Town is about to fucking read out. Remember, if you want to get into our comment competition, comment on on the Marty Mocko fully actual YouTube channel. The more times you comment, the more entries you have. We'll be picking the comment winners <laughs> on the season finale. All right? Just comment and you've entered. And say, sorry. If you want us to answer your questions, just comment your questions and um, we answer the most liked questions first. So I have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer. Imagine if all the tickets for the live show are already sold out. <laughs> Could happen. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm right always, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I'm say man, that would be nice, but I, I doubt it. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'll be happy with like... I'll be happy if we can get a hundred people to come. I'll be pretty oh, happy. Man, yeah, when you guys so hear him talking about that, it's that it's live. Don't keep fucking watching the podcast. You press pause yeah. and go and buy a ticket because it could sell out real fast. I have a suspicion it's going to sell out fast. Well, we're going to do swipe ups and shit on Instagram in two days, so that they'll fucking go like hotcakes and come. Thank you. <sighs> oh. All right, Brown Town. What do we got? A big few days. He had food poisoning. Why don't you talk about the shitting oh, yeah. and vomiting? No, no. I, I, there's a there's a really really unique story. Okay. Oh yeah, we said. Wasn't there something no. we were meant to come back to? Oh, we're going to talk about Michael's character, the, the person he becomes. Oh damn. Oh, I don't know. Dennis. We could talk about it in a different podcast. Yeah. Um, do the default day face. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. That's what Michael <laughs> used to look like on Benders. Not and wrong. Even with the lips or just... No, yeah, that. Walking dead, dude. It's yeah, unbelievable. It's like your brain was dead. gone, but your body was still working. It could still operate. Sort of <laughs> yeah. staggering yeah. from left to right. Oh, and your legs questions. would work and that's all. Not even arms. Very shallow breathing. <laughs> Matt looks <Wow>. fucked. <laughs> Look at him. Fucking... He's so cute. <laughs> kind of looks like the ho that host guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he does. A host brother. Imagine if he was. That's what the host would look like if he went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it, cunt. <laughs> Comment of the week went to Cameron Winchester. Winchester. Yeah. Winchester, good band. And his um his comment was I feel like Matt has been 35 for years now. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> Fucking oath. You've been 35 since I've fucking known you. Fuck off. Dude, you came to my 30th and did a dude, speech. I'm pretty sure you had your 35th birthday at Blockbuster fucking 10 years ago. <laughs> Man, no. I, have, I have a vague memory of your 30th. Oh, yeah. I was, that's you right. you came in very quick. Came and in half quick. an hour. Hello. Yeah, fuck. I had a 30th. That's so cute. Isn't Matt, it cute? Matt had a little party. And my mum was very ill and she still came out. <laughs> what, quiet. Party. Oh man, I was in Sydney. That's sad. Oh, Sydney. I would have tried to hook up. So with many Geordie. people were away. My sister was in America. Sam yeah. Suzuki was overseas. You were in Sydney. It was yeah. just yeah. But I had Marty and Michael. The boys. We yeah. were Michael went and Ubered and I, I was here or two. <laughs> I know. And now I drove. All right. Um, um, um top, top question, question went to, to uh, um, Chris P. Bacon. Um. <laughs> 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 Uh, can we get, oh, this has got, this has got the highest likes. Uh, can we get Marty's yelling neighbor onto the podcast or at least prank call him? Oh. I think he's merged two together. Like one, the yelling neighbor and then one, the angry neighbor. That's uh, the same. All from Pepperina. No, it's a short no. Oh. <laughs> Dude. No, no, what? Oh man. Oh man. We should Imagine. send a letter to him. Let's put a letter in his mailbox. Haven't offering, they moved? How much? No, no. Let's do the fucking neighbor of your backyard. That's the famous neighbor, the one that yeah, called yeah, you guys yeah. the king of the 13 year olds. Oh, yeah. How about, have, don't how about we put. He never, he's so old. He's like, no, dead how about, nearly. let's, like, what's what's the money limit we're going to $1,000. $1,000. Bucks. 
thousand dollars if you come on our podcast, cunt. Because <laughs> I don't want. He won't to take it. Yeah, he won't. I don't reckon he'd take it. He'd what think about if you one? offered him okay. ten grand, he'd take it. Nah, five k is not worth it. What we just have this. But what about the other out. one? The the one that um nearly like stabbed me or whatever. We could get him on. I think that's what they're referring to. Is that one? Yeah, that'd be funny to get him on and just to clear up that miscommunication. Then you guys can see how confrontational he is. <laughs> oh, dude, I heard that burp come from his stomach. <laughs> It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. And Ashley follows up for the second question. Who's from Ashley? Ashley. <laughs> Ashley follows up for the second question from Ratmaster. <laughs> um, what has been the worst neighbor altercation you've had and what caused them? Oh, that one where the guy caused yeah, them. Yeah, we already said that. And that was caused by um, Jackson pushing Lockie into his fence and putting a small dint in it. <laughs> 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 that guy's a loser. Oh, oh man, he's going to hunt you down now. Yeah, right. Dude, he man. remembers everything we say. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, uh, James is very jacked. And not that his name is Jack. As in, sorry. Uh, next question is from Fuggin Dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All the names of our comments dude, there's are a new, so good. There's a new Matt Brown one. I'll hopefully I've saved it, but anyway, we'll get to it. Um, uh, this, this one could be way too long, but so I'll just try and make it short. But... What's everyone's favorite experience and memory with each other? But like, what's your favorite experience and memory with between each other? I, I have think. a fucking great memory of Marty. Like, it's so many of him. But like, there was one time we were walking back from a, a night out, and because we'd never be able to afford taxis because there's no Ubers back then, so we'd always spend our last twenty dollars on drinks. Oh, and then gone. we'd be walking <laughs> back, and it's like a forty minute walk home, forty five minute walk home, and it, we're walking with these like group of like girls for a bit it was all happy days Marty just got a bit bored so he started like being a bit weird and they thought we were strange so they sort of like backed off a bit and then like they started abusing us because Marty was just being really whacked out and like they're like you guys are so fucking weird and then like <laughs> Marty just like as they're drifting away from us on the turn off Marty wheels this massive stick around his like body and like starts wielding this massive branch going around him, like, and he just screams, "I'm a wizard, you whore!" <laughs> and it was honestly the way his presentation and his fucking delivery of it was. I looked back and captured it, and I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> it was so funny. He just like wheeled this massive branch around his body. <laughs> I'm a wizard, you whore. And yeah, anyway, that's a fond memory I have it's of Marty. There was one um, at the Down Under Bar. We were all sitting at a table, all us boys, and um, this girl from Michael's school, from Michael's class, like saw that we were all out and came over and and stood next to Michael and started talking to him. And Michael just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so... <laughs> Fucking funny. <laughs> Instead of talking to her, you just made that sound oh over God. and over again. Do you oh remember? My, no. And then he ended up dating that girl for fucking like a year or something. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm sorry. Let that be a listen, no, that that listen to your kids. Fucking hilarious. Oh, just <laughs> That's how you she, pick up chicks, kids. <laughs> she was screaming she kept, at them. She kept saying, why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just pissing myself laughing in the corner. Oh, down under bar, Michael. Oh, oh Lucky's calling, Lucky's calling. Yes, come on. Lucky's calling. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to just say, hey, I've sorted. It's all good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, dude. Um, yeah, it's all good. I sorted it, man. I just wasn't fucking pushing the right button. All right. Um, I've hung it up now. They've um, yeah, they're they're fucking lovely, dude. Wait, have you got sent them yet? Hey. Have you got them already? Yeah, yeah, we got them this morning. They rocked up at like midday. Send me a photo. Yeah, I can. Send Are they small? No, they're like whatever dimensions, like like fifty by and like twenty five high or something. Because there was a huge fuck up. They printed all the wrong ones, and then we've now got massive. Uh, oh, you all actually no, your ones are okay. That's right. Um, all Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Sucked in, Lucky. We're lying to you, Lucky. You <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> You've been lied to on the podcast. You weak cunt. It will never there end. 
Jesse, you fucker. Did you actually get your time? <laughs> no, we didn't get him yet, dude. No, we never oh. got him. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we sorry. We you out. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Lucky, no, we haven't got them yet, man. <laughs> oh, man, that's all good, man. That's all good. <laughs> 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 when are they coming? <laughs> when do you reckon? When do you reckon they'll be here? Though we're excited to see them. Pretty soon. I'll be pretty soon. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> organizing. Michael's that. Michael's saying that you have a stake in this company. Is that true? Yeah, twenty twenty five percent. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, well, what's fucking, it called? Shout it out. Yeah, what is it called? Get lit neon. Get lit neon. <laughs> Such a good name. <laughs> Yeah, right, got get lit neon. Is it get lit? <laughs> get lit neon on Instagram. Get lit neons. S. Yeah. <laughs> get lit neons on Instagram. Go and get your neon signs. You can't use our Thanks discount so code. Much. We've got two of them. We didn't just buy one. We bought two. <laughs> That's plural. I think. Yeah. What did we get? We got sorry and um, fully, fully actual. actual. Yeah. Fully actual. They should be there pretty soon, I reckon. All right, well, fuck yeah, cunt. Anyway, sorry to waste your time there, Lockie. We just were stuck on a lie and we thought it's perfect opportunity. (laughs) Fucking cunt. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, boy. No, I appreciate that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, dude. See you soon, eh? Love you, dude. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, um, on a side note, (laughs) see the thing on your left thigh? Yeah. That is my scab. Oh. For fuck's sake, cunt. There's always some floating around on me. See the joy in his face delivering that news? Mm. <laughs> that was more important proud. to him than anything yeah. else. He was just waiting for Lyle yeah, Lockie like, to end. Moves, yeah, hurry up. It's gone. It's lucky we lied to you. Fuck oh, off. Oh, it's nice getting you lie away again. Yeah, that was fun. Felt and good. it's always better because it, it, the beginning was lying to Lockie and it should stay that. Look at this. Hard. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the table, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question is from Zoe Fincher. Fincher, Fincher. Um, all right, Michael, are you ready? Oh, you're going to love this, Michael. All, all right. right. It's very important. Question for Michael and Brown. Builds or no builds in Fortnite? No builds. If you build, it's <laughs> oh. shit. It's like, that's like gypsy fucking. This is what you said before you ever started with. playing Fortnite about Fortnite. Did I really hack into Fortnite? I hated Fortnite. Oh, yeah, you hated the building. Oh, yeah. Okay. Devil's advocate. What, if you were good at building, you'd be answering that yeah. question. Yeah, I must say, I've been watching Fortnite vids, and when they do the little circle up, I'm like, whoa. That's oh, so he cool. watches them. It, it is <laughs> fully gone. It is talented. <laughs> But it is yeah, talented, like, and it is good to be able to use building to go places and protect yourself. Oh, but but like, uh, it's chat. like it's more Hunger Games without build because they, they, they don't just yeah. press a button and there's a fucking ramp on the front of them in Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah. that does sound. I shit. was not sold when you started playing no builds, and now I'm fully. No Do builds. any of the yeah. best players in the world not build? I have no idea. Yeah, what about the tournaments? Are they build or no I build? I have no idea. Come on, Matt. As if you from don't every know. video I've looked up for tips of Fortnite, <laughs> there's always been building tips. Yeah, building's always been, been the, the original like, way. I must say, like, fuck me, that game, I get it. Get while it's it's a distraction from every problem, every fucking thing. If you're a kid and you're getting bullied, play Fortnite. Is it that good? Yeah. Oh, it's very fun. If you are getting bullied at school, play Fortnite, escape your worries. We could all play together in a If squad. you have a divorce that you're sick of and you, if so you have kids you hate, that. play Fortnite. If you have a, a divorce <laughs> that's pissing you off and you've got to put time in to fix it, play Fortnite. If you've got a corpse in the back of your van and you're not sure what to do with it, play, play Fortnite. Fortnite. If you have urges to kill people and <laughs> fuck their organs, play Fortnite. You, there's Michael good sides to it. There's good sides to it too. There is actually good <laughs> sides. If you have yeah, urges to kill people and do all that shit that Jeffrey did slash you, play Fortnite. If you have a sexual attraction to your mother, play Fortnite. It will fit. It just, it's fucking fun. And How much better was it no, actually, when you won? It's only good because I'm good at it. I'm fucking good at it. I've played like less than fucking 50 games in my life and I've won like 10. We'd hate it, Marty. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, both yeah. suck at video games. Dude, if you suck at video games, ones? stick yeah. to like what you got to do with your whole own problems. Like if you're getting bullied, stay getting yeah, bullied. Yeah, yeah. Sort if your you, issues. If you if you hate your kids, keep hating your I kids. I feel like you guys are the bullies and we got picked on in school. <laughs> and this is why. <laughs> but fuck me. Fortnite. Oh, you can't just play Fortnite once a fortnight. <laughs> oh. 
That should be the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> the octopus. Wait. Does it, it does it not go like that? No. Sorry. Imagine <laughs> making that mistake with a real baby. Oh, oh shit. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, does it not go like that? <laughs> 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 Twist its head round the back. <laughs> I wonder if you could twist his head the wrong way. <laughs> you, we, you'd You've got a real that. thing How weird is baby? this thing? Is the soft, oh, the soft head it's too on a baby. Much. Oh. You could just go like that and kill it. Like, Don't, oh no, even adults have that. No. Nah. Yeah, but a like bit. solid as. At the back a bit. Yeah, a little bit. I've seen James rip an apple apart with his bare hands. Yeah, I reckon I can he could, do that. could rip a baby's baby skull apart with your bare Easy. hands. <laughs> All right, next question is from Stephen Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the 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 angry neighbor uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, keeps he's, coming up. He's famous. I, I promise you, not that. Like the the amount of times I've spoken to people who know you guys, and they've been like, "Oh, that angry neighbor's hilarious." Yeah, well, there he goes. Man, Can you give you? a free ticket to your neighbor who shouted in the background of your videos at the previous house, the, the King of the Thirteen Year Olds one? So he'd be oh, impressed. Is that good? He man. said he would be impressed with the empire you've built. <laughs> Very funny. It was a good video. A free ticket of what? To the, the live show. Oh yeah, yeah maybe no. Yeah, no. For our fans. Get him on Bachelor Brown. Yeah, right. You could have him. Suck him off, man. <laughs> would you how much would it take to fuck him, Matt? I don't know. I need a good look at him. Oh, oh, I, know I heard, I I heard him. our neighbors arguing the other day. You didn't even hug me before you left this morning. So he sad. said that or she yeah, said he that. He said that oh, to that's her. It's so, so, so cringy. She, like fucking, say she that. stormed away and was like real angry at him. Man, it was like, Is this a lie? No, this is hundred percent. You Mon heard it too. So yeah, yeah, me and, Mon, me and Mon and Esther all ran outside <laughs> and were listening. Oh, I did the same. Yeah. The husband's so interesting. Oh, yeah, the husband said, you, you, did. Yeah, 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 you didn't even hug me when up. I left this morning. And he's like 80. Yeah, he's so old. And she was annoyed at him because he was like too rough. Oh, I forget what it was. I don't want to misquote him. I'm not going to say. Hmm. Too Jeez. rough sexually. Maybe it's because like- Oh, I he get poked it. her or something. She was like annoyed at him because he poked her too oh hard. Oh my God. Yeah, Literally. you break easy when you're that old. That's a pretty good marriage like, if that's their biggest problem. No, no, think about it. He's worried because if she, he doesn't get that last hug, she might go out that day and, and die. die. Oh, that's every moment like you hug. So they hug probably on often, like on average, every five minutes. Yeah, they know. They that hug, you might die next five minutes. They know hug. that they're already past the average lifespan. So they're like, imagine if they're in like sixty-five, they'd be so offended watching <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Fuck All right, next sad. question is from Slippery Sausage. Good. Uh, are you guys bringing back the Christmas podcast this year? Yeah, we haven't even discussed. I guess so. We can do that. I'll do that. That was an easy we one. Won't be, it won't be. Uh, let's just make it this year. No prep work for the Christmas podcast. We we'll didn't just, really last time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll exactly. just start rolling and just start talking. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. But yeah. only in carols. And when do you do that? German. Yeah, we'll sing a Christmas. Oh, like no. near Christmas. Yeah, it's nice. Don't. Sorry. Sorry. You could ruin everything. Sorry. Oh, All right. Next question from Jack Graham. Are you are you guys going to do more stuff with the Misfit Minds? Yeah, they've moved yeah. to Melbourne. And yeah, they're, damn it. Their vids are very good. They've been pumping some bangers lately. Yeah, very Misfit well Misfit Minds done. on YouTube, very good. Um, Funny boys. Yeah, like they really they got enjoyed a, their stuff. They got a big future, I reckon. They're just yeah. naturally funny guys, and they're like, they're not like sick fucks like we are. So it's much easier to if you're just naturally funny in the in like the mainstream way. You got the you, the start. You you got there's fucking there's potential. You're set. you're set. All right. If you're a sick fuck like Matt Brown and Michael, there's a you know you can only go so far. <laughs> It's true. No, seriously, I back that. Okay. But we'll mean go, but true. But, we'll, but we will go as far as we can with the sick fight content. Sorry. Next question is from Peter Hunt. Right. Um, since James has joined working for you guys, what's the best thing that has changed and are there any new challenges that oh, have arisen? Should I get the zap racket? Oh, dude, <laughs> no. Yeah, he surprises us with little pranks and James, fuckeries. Yeah, James is- But, man, editing is- well, he's editing, he's, he's organizing, he's just general work ethic and positivity. Like it's just good to be around. And like, his muscles have grown. Yeah, well, you know, we Sorry. go to we go to the gym Thanks, before we go before we start work in the morning. And like Michael and I, back when it was just us two last year, because Julian never fucking goes. Days. 
in the morning. Oh, yeah. In like, it's so easy to say, oh, fuck it. Once one of us says no back last year, but this, there's always, there's always James will always be going. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's much better. There's fucking many, many beautiful things that have changed since James has joined. Yeah. Not many people have a mate that's like, like a ray of sun. Like we don't even need to like. He's just one of those employees too. You don't need to even like fucking. He's proactive. Yeah, he does. He he just does shit. Show us your bicep. No, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, boys. Watch that was really that. nice. But if I have a car accident on the way home, I'm gonna be super happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Like, that was that's lovely. That, that was, would ruin my whole nah, life. I've made, I've made. Yeah, that's good. I'm so glad you're no happy. I was, trying, <laughs> I was trying to think of something, but there's no butt. He's got oh. a big butt. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. You noticed it in a video a couple of months ago, oh. and now he's stopped working his butt. <laughs> I, stop, I needed to stop doing squats as much. I look like some kind of Instagram girl. <laughs> so we like and so yeah. hairless. <laughs> All right, final question from Derek Teasley. Teasley? Yeah, I like that name. Teasley. Teasley. Um, how is it that Michael can literally get shit on or shut on, but he draws a line at cold water? Oh. <laughs> Dude, great question. <laughs> we literally were filming a video the other the other yesterday, was it? And and the brick one. And Michael's oh, yeah, like, was I'd rather eat shit oh, yeah, while dude, he's floating like, in the pool. <laughs> Say sorry. I'm that. sorry, Fuck dude. You. I was just beckoning to you, and it just. Dude, watch watch the I'm microphone. about to get mad. I'm about to fling this at you. Watch I'm the so, microphone. You can't I'm do sorry. it. Sorry, there's equipment there. For those oh watching, God. I just accidentally spilled some beer on him. <laughs> accidentally, accidentally. That's my fuck him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you stupid priest Such in the making. Beautiful gesture. Why don't you fuck something? <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck you. Look, I'll stand up. Oh my god! Marty, that last five Marty, minutes. Marty, Marty, if you oh. do it, just aim a bit lower. <laughs> cold oh. water and cold in general. Wait, Wim Hof, well done. Okay, I get it. It's sad and it's like it makes you happy. But the pool <laughs> but wasn't even that cold yesterday. It's fine just now. Anything wet, I hate it. I just yeah. like being dry and comfortable. Yeah. It yeah, is I strange though. Like, remember oh. we had those those blow up balls. Sorry. And like some of the shit you've done, physical stuff that is just like you could die doing that, like getting shot with a nail gun. Yeah. And then you won't get in a large inflatable blow up ball and run into something and because <laughs> you're scared it'll hit your head. Whiplash I and it. wet, I hate. I know, yeah. you're, you're, but you're, you're, I understand Teasley, is that his, was that his Teasley. last name? His, his question is very, very fair because yeah, you're, yeah. you're like, like pain like, threshold okay, is all over the shop. Yeah, yeah, everyone's different and I'm just different like that. No, pain you're different is, among the different. Oh, but I then I like get it. Whiplash. I can I can put weird shit in my mouth, but I can I really struggle yeah. with shit. Putting it up your yeah, ass. Like it's yeah. fucked. Gargle mucus yeah, out but of like, Yeah, but I can't do it. shit I'm fine with. Like, so what? It's my shit. Even if it's your shit, it's shit. Yeah, it washes off. I understand that. I get that. Then gargle my spit. But like getting whiplash and you can't control it. <laughs> getting cold and you've you're always hated and the cold. shivering. Like I don't get it. I just hate His it. Showers are steam hot. Yeah, yeah. I have bloodshot no, eyes when he gets out. Full, Comes out. He's a fucking full, pink. He's full a, hot. He's a light shade. I don't have any eyes on on red. Just turn the hot up, and that's it. Like it's just hot. It's like being warm. It's like a. I'm, I'm cold blooded. <laughs> I guess. Hey, that I guess fucking I'm cold reptile. Blooded. He's a fucking <laughs> reptile. <laughs> fucking well, Lizzie. Oh, I'm a Lizzie. <laughs> it's a female lizard. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's bring it home, eh? Yes. Can I stay for the prank call? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you stay here forever. <laughs> All right, guys. What <laughs> what should we do? Oh, call yeah. McDonald's and just go on a rant about how KFC is actually healthier than them, and that's that's why. <laughs> nah, Dakota, <they'll> <laughs> hang on within within seconds. <laughs> I used to um, love the way you call those chip factories. But, you know, the helpline on the back that people call when they have a complaint, but you call up with positives. Positives. <laughs> Beautiful. But, yeah, not, not for now. I like a little bit. I'm going to call the security company as Darren and just be like, pretend like Darren's like breaking into a house and Darren's going to pretend oh. that it's his house. And like, oh, no, look, it's just going off. Look, how to walk, turn it off. And, no, it's more hand. Oh, yeah, that's good. <sighs> yeah, g'day mate. Um, is this um a prick? Yeah, mate. Um, I've um just rocked up um home at uh me mum's joint, right? And um, I've like 
tried to like um get the door open and that and um I don't have a key on me so like I had to like push it push it open like with me shoulder and that and um it's popped open and the bloody thing started like making some sounds and that um so I was just like run down the road um just to get away from the sound but is there like a way to like turn that off and that or Mate, I've got no idea what you're talking about. You're talking about you've broken into a house with an alarm system. Yeah, mate. Yeah, one of yours. I saw it. Who's the owner of the house? Oh, my mum owns the joint. Who? My mum. Darlene. Why don't you ask your mum for the, for the uh, code? She, she's not answering the phone, and I don't want the coppers showing up and, like, causing a big fuss and that, so I'm just a bit, like, freaking out and that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You can't go into a house like, where there's an alarm system breaking the door down. You can't do that. Oh, I didn't know there was an alarm system in that. I just fucking put a drop a little shoulder in it and popped open and the fucking thing started going, fuh, fuh, fucking making all these fucking, thought I was a well, fucking disco or some shit coming too. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I know, mate, but I'm just saying, like, how do I turn the fucking thing off? I don't want the fucking coppers coming around. It's fucking nearly fucking 8 o'clock at night and, like, neighbours be, neighbours be, fucking, neighbors be fucking going off there and fucking coming mate, around and joining. You've, you've got to talk to the owner of the alarm system. I don't have the coat. What do you mean, mate? It's your fucking business name on the fucking hey, alarm mate, system, mate. I don't have the code to the alarm system. I don't have the well, code. Well, how do you fucking turn the thing off, mate? What do I got to rip off the fucking wall or some shit to fucking stop yeah, the thing yeah. from singing at mate, me, mate? Mate, you can't turn it off. You can't rip it off the wall. It'll still keep going. What are you fucking talking you're about, both... mate? What, what, what do you mean you got no way to fucking turn the alarm system off? Is that what you're saying to me right now? What kind of alarm system is that? Do you want to listen to me or not? Yeah, you go on, bro. <laughs> Ask your mother about the code. Get the code and get authorization mate, to turn the alarm. I'm saying, I, right? I, I do not have a code to turn anyone else's alarm off. I don't have that. Right, I'm saying, here, look, my mum, she ain't answering her phone and that. So, look, I don't know what to do right now. I don't want to go to the house. The fucking alarm's going off. Is there like a timer on the thing or something? Is there like, to, will it keep going? You cannot go to the house unless you're given permission to access it. So you're telling I, me, I, I can't give you an access to an alarm code that I don't know about. So you're telling we don't keep customers alarm codes. Yeah, right, right. Okay, all right, look, I'll step back, right? What you just did, like, that's quite strong, and I respect that. Like, you just stood your ground and, like, Mate, took, I don't, took me I by don't surprise, to be honest. Like, you, I, the way you've come up to me then, like, squared up, I was like, fucking hell. Like, and I've, like, taken a step back, and you've gone up the rungs of respect in more, um, like, moral um, ethics and that. Like, you've come up I, a bit. I'd love like, to be able to help you, but I can't help you. I yeah, can't no, have no, the no, no, mate, I'll get it. I'll get it. I understand. I'm just saying, like, like, I've got an alarm for blaring, right? Blaring going, lee, 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 and my neighbours. It'll, it'll stop in a couple of minutes. All oh, right, okay, so it does stop. Oh, sick, sick. All right, sweet. So, But you just can't, you just can't like, press no buttons and nothing from where no, you're no, at. No, no, you, you can't, like, to, switch out off for me and that. It's code, like having a right, house. Right, 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 right. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, um, I'll just go back to the house. Um, if the coppers rock up and that, I'll, you, it's sweet if I'll just give them your number and you just tell them, oh, no, nah, don't worry, I spoke to the bloke and it's all good and that. Mate, I can't vouch for you. I don't know who you are. You could be a burglar. You could be someone bona fide. Oh, mate, come on, mate. Bloody burglar, mate. Come on, bloody, bloody, bloody hell, mate. <laughs> bloody my mum's house, mate. <laughs> hey. How am I supposed to know who you are? Well, can't you hear me voice? I'm not a bloody burglar. If I was a bloody burglar, I'd be bloody <laughs> telling you bloody drop bloody shop and drop bloody, bloody shoulder on the bloody front door, mate. Toot, toot, mate, toot. Mate, the answer is you just stay out of the house, the alarm will right. stop. Right, all right. And there'll, and there'll be no, no more. All right, mate. You go back in, it'll go off again. No worries, bro. Well, I'll just wait out the front and tell the neighbours to get fucked. If they come out, my neighbours come out, right? I'm telling them, look, alarm, I'll call the alarm you, systems you, bloke, mate, you, and he said to me, it's you, all good. You go uh, back in your fucking house. I'll say mate, that to my neighbours. You need to get the information from your mother or you can't the Yeah, friend. she's fucking off it, mate. She's out with the bloody girls tonight. She won't answer her phone until bloody 2 a.m., well, I reckon. You have to wait till, you, have to wait till you, you, you can contact her. All right, well, if the coppers no, come around. No way. All right, Bob. Well, if the coppers come around, you get a call from the coppers, just say, uh, Darren, you spoke to me, I'm Darren, and um, that I'll is just, all good. If the coppers bring me, I'll tell them, I'll, 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 I'll relate our discussion with them. There's no problem there. No worries, Bob. You're a fucking legend, brother. I hope you have a bloody cheap and I'll tell you I've gone to All right, mate. Get, you, no. get the codes from your mum. Too easy, brother. I'll give her another about a signal and a little tit pick. All right. Well, what, what, where's the property at? Uh, it's um or oh, in uh, Tagum somewhere. It's like um, I don't know the exact. It's off just off Church Road. They four fifty Church Road, I think. Two. Well, if the coppers with me, I'll let them know what we're we'll talking about. Too easy, brother. Sounds like yeah, uh, top of the night to you, brother. Two. Bye. See you later, champion.
Wow. Wow. He's wow. He's definitely wow. calling the police, that I reckon. Is <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. I realized my phone was not on private. <laughs> I'm going to block his number. Dude, now. dude, that is so fucked. That was a great. <laughs> I love that, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. God. It's so good that he couldn't do anything about it straight away and that just immediately caused confrontation. I, sh- I was going to like try and piss him off, but then I just thought, nah, he's done well. Like, he's done well. <laughs> he was so great. chill. Yeah. Like I loved that whole journey that you took us on. <laughs> and last week's prank call oh, we went, bit. Yeah, yeah. Like we, yeah, we hurt her ears. Oh, yeah. We don't want to hurt. We don't yeah, want so to I just wanted to end ears. one on a nice note for once. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no, that was so. <gasps> I should put my phone's on private now. I should call him back as the cops. Oh, oh <laughs> it's good. Um, just want to, yeah, 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 on private and be like, hey, this is constable, uh, blah, blah. Or even James, are you good at as a. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Marty's, the, Marty's the king of prank calls. I think we leave What's it. What's a to police him. officer voice? Hey, mate, it's just constable Randall Paul. Nails it. Hello. Hey, um, it's just uh, Matt Brown here from the Tagum Police Station. Um, we've just arrived at a job in um, Tagum, um, and we've come across an individual um, who claims that his um, mother lives at certain residence here where a uh, private security alarm has gone off, and he's given us your number to call. Mate, I've already told him I can't tell the guy who he is. I've got no idea who he is. He's just someone who's broken into a house illegally, as far as I'm concerned. Right, so he has broken into this house illegally, has he? He, said he, put his, he said he put his shoulder, he couldn't contact his mother, he put his shoulder to the door. The right. alarm's going up and rang me to bow Yeah, it. that's what we thought, right. Yeah, look, he's, um, he's, quite, he's quite animated at the moment and he sort of claims that um, you told him mate, that, um, that you said mate, it was mate, okay. Mate, mate, like drug or drunk or both. Right, okay. All right, well, um, I'll, I'll let him know. Thank, thanks for uh, mate, the chat, Bob. I, could, I, I, could, I told him I could not help him assist him. Assist him uh, Turn off anybody's alarm system without authority. Okay, so just to be clear, you didn't give him um, clearance to do this, and you didn't say that um, he should just wait by the house for the alarm to go off and then re- re-enter the home. Get permission to enter. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll take this information back to him. Um, look, thanks for your time, Bob. Um, a normal person to me, mate. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Well, he, yeah. He, he was just he's sort of um, pretty pretty animated, and he was sort of saying, kept yelling out, saying that. Um, he, Mate, uh, I think none of the uniforms are so a lot stronger than you and I that night. So you don't know this individual at all? Never heard of him. I don't, I don't, he didn't even know the address of the property, mate. Right. Well, he's completely he's naked. Said, he's completely naked. He could, he could not give me the address of the property. Yeah. There was some people who tried him. He didn't even know the address of the property. He said he can't contact his mother because his mother's out. As, yeah. far as, I can, as far as I'm concerned, he's a burglar break into someone's house. I've got no idea where he comes from. Yeah, that may very well be the case. When we arrived, he was completely naked, um, sort of doing like a... Um, some sort of dance in the middle of the you know, road, and the street lights were sort of shining on him, and it was um, it was pretty confronting. He um, you know, he was completely erect. So I, I, was, I think he's I think on some sort of drugs. To be I think he deserves to be in the White House, mate. No worries, mate. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, um, Bob. Was it? And um, yeah. So so he's just called. So he how does he have your number, Bob? Does he some, have some your like security alarm figures probably off the window? I'm guessing. Okay, no. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, all right, yeah, that mate, makes as sense. I'm, mate, as far as I'm concerned, he's a thief trying to break into someone. I, I do get these odd occasions every few years where someone ends up pretending to be a family member and they, the alarm goes oh, off. Yeah, that's not on. But as far as I'm concerned, that's a green light for um, police brutality. That's as far as I'm concerned. So, all right, mate, yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna rough him up fair fair bit to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna call for backup and um, yeah, we'll probably put a few handcuffs on him and and really push him into and the ground. Standard oh. pretty, uh, pretty off the enemy. Yeah, you're telling me, mate. All right, mate. Sorry to bother you, Bob. I'm going to yeah drag his face along the bloody gravel. I hope it was a pleasant night. No worries, mate. You too. All right. Get the fucking get the taser. This cunt's a loose unit. Get the taser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, he was oh. stiff. He was pretty hard. <laughs> he was naked and hard. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god, dude, I'm crying. He's had that happen before. He's had that. Every now and then, there's someone claims that their family. Oh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Do you think you went too crazy at the end to call him back next week as Darren to confront oh, him yeah. for fucking dogging on you? Oh yes, dude. Save that screenshot, that number. <laughs> that is fucking good, dude. Oh, oh that was amazing. Guy. He's got my. The only thing that makes me nervous is he has my actual number. Oh, dude, it's a prank. <laughs> just he, save it as Bob like like until legend. next week, then unblock Bob it. Bob sounds call him. like a legend. Yeah. Like, he gets it. Just and if he says, why haven't I been able to get onto your phone? Like, you might try and call you back. Just be like, the police confiscated my phone. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That, that was, that was incredible. Good. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> He's a fart halfway through it. <laughs> Dude, I lost it. I saw you line up for it. I was like, no way. <laughs> Such a beautiful fart too. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, guys. That is the end of episode number 36. Remember, there are live. The tickets oh. are on sale for our live show for episode oh. 40 on the 11th of November. Unless so they're sold out already. Unless it's a Friday night. Out, We're going to be there. We're all going to be there. It's gonna, Shooter Williamson's going to be there. It's going to be a wild fucking night. And we'll go out after. After on the town and get fucking written off gun like Darren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get some class, what dark class web. action lawsuits. Dark web, <laughs> dark web pingers. Dark web pingers coming. All right, guys, we are the best. We're, we're the best. best. We're the 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 best.